Pastor Gino Jennings has faced a barrage of hateful letters, some from religious organizations like the Catholic Diocese, Jehovah's Witnesses, Hebrew Israelites, former members of First Church, and even the Ku Klux Klan. Despite these challenges, he remains steadfast in his commitment to the teachings of God. In the face of adversity, Pastor Gino Jennings stands unwavering, resolute in his dedication to preaching the gospel. Hypocrite! Bible thumper! Yeah! Snake! Go through it quick, Dad! Devil! Bigot! Jesus! Hate monger! Fundy! Religious fanatic! Self anointed prophet! Radical! Right winger! Extremist! Subverter of the truth! Dogmaticist, leader of a cult, closet racist. These names all are befitting for you. Bigger. Aww. Oh. I can't stand you. One of them. I don't want your doctrine. Good. The thief oh. on the cross had no time to get baptized. Mm -hmm. What about all the Catholics and Lutherans throughout this history who heard plenty about the blood of Jesus and believed in it, yet never heard of your way? Mm -hmm. Is it really fair to condemn them to hell for, for all eternity? Would a just and loving God really do that? Or wouldn't he say he died for them all? And what about all the black slaves whose masters wouldn't let them get baptized? What about Martin Luther King? Is he damned too? Because he didn't speak in tongues. There are so many churches going around saying they don't have that, saying they have the only truth, and you are just another blank one of them. You are part of the problem. You are another reason why so many people hate Christianity. Your doctrine blank. You are just the blind black preacher leading all the black blind men into the pit. I'm not a racist. No. no. I'm no bigot. Oh no. No, no. I'm none of those things you call. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I do appreciate your consideration <laughs> because you did watch the program enough to drive you to this point. Right. This letter says, well, 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 <laughs> Mr. Gino Jennings, we have been watching your program for some time now. How did a black loudmouth son of a B dot 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 get on television? You're nothing more than a menace. Men back in my day knew their place, but you don't know yours. But we have no problem in showing you your place. You preach this stuff called holiness saying it is the true religion of God, when everyone knows that Christianity is the religion. It sickens me just to look at you. Your tongue should be cut out. <laughs> I just want to sick him a little more. <laughs> Amen. Say it sickens him to look at. That's right. <laughs> All right, read on. He says it sickens me just to look at you. Mm -hmm. Your tongue should be cut out and your body dismembered so you cannot be found. Better yet, how about a good old-fashioned rope and bucket of tar? Hello, hello. Perhaps this will shut your mouth. This writer says, we hate you. We despise you. And the sooner you are gone, the better off we all will be. We are that of the religion of Christianity. We'll challenge you anywhere at any time with the Bible and show you that Christianity is the right way. This person says, we heard you say you have been threatened before, but we advise you, Mr. Mother F. Something, Jennings, to take this letter sincerely. They conclude in saying, you son of a B dot dot dot. The KKK wrote me, and they threatened me. <laughs> they heard the truth of God message and said, that uh, in, you know, because stations like to bleep me out. Right. And you that don't know what in me, <laughs> <laughs> they said, a nigga like you <laughs> should not be on television. They said, you make me want to go back and get my sheets. Lord. And they said they want to hang me in their backyard. Lord. So when I got that news, I felt so wonderful. <laughs> I felt light on my feet. <laughs> I felt very encouraged because they threatened me and said they're going to hang me. Hallelujah. 
So, I didn't want their words to be in vain. <laughs> so we are here. I don't care if you Ku Klux Klan, skinhead, no head. The Ku Klux Klan is just a group of immature, ignorant men and women who are mentally ignorant, emotionally incapacitated, and physically unqualified, and spiritually dead. Amen. So you dared me to come here? I'm here. <laughs> and I say like General MacArthur, I shall return. The stream of hateful letters, including those from various religious organizations and even the Ku Klux Klan, has failed to sway him from his steadfast adherence to the teachings of God. His enduring conviction speaks volumes about his commitment to the faith and the strength of his spiritual resolve. Gino Jennings exemplifies boldness in his unwavering commitment to the faith. As a true man of God, he embodies the belief that fear has no place in the heart of those God has chosen to be an apostle. A genuine spiritual leader should stand with courage, understanding that true harm can only befall them if it aligns with the will of the Lord. In the face of adversity, Pastor Gino Jennings personifies the courage and boldness that mark a steadfast servant of God. His boldness echoes the essence of fearlessness rooted in deep faith. Pastor Gino Jennings draws strength from the conviction that a true servant of God should not be paralyzed by the spirit of fear but should, instead, boldly confront challenges. In this unwavering stance, he exemplifies the belief that, guided by God's purpose, no harm can befall a person of faith unless it is the will of God. This unyielding commitment to the teachings of God, coupled with fearlessness, paints a portrait of a spiritual leader who stands firm amid the storms, guided by an unshakable trust in the Lord's will. A preacher's duty extends beyond the pulpit, requiring unwavering trust in God and a fearless dedication to proclaiming the gospel. True spiritual leaders, like Pastor Gino Jennings, exemplify this trust, understanding that his mission transcends personal fears. A preacher should draw strength from God's guidance, standing boldly in the face of doubt or opposition, for the message they carry is not their own but a sacred truth entrusted to them. By relinquishing fear and trusting in God, a preacher fulfills their calling with authenticity and conviction, spreading the gospel with a courage that stems from a profound faith in God's providence. This trust in God becomes the anchor for the preacher, enabling them to navigate the challenges of proclaiming the gospel. In the absence of fear, they can speak with conviction, knowing that their purpose is aligned with a higher calling. Pastor Gino Jennings and others who share this steadfast trust exemplify a commitment that transcends personal concerns, allowing the divine message to resonate authentically. The preacher's fearlessness is not born out of recklessness but is rooted in the assurance that their mission is sanctioned by the Almighty, fostering a genuine connection with the hearts of those who seek spiritual guidance. Among the overwhelming amount of letters Pastor Gino Jennings receives, a notable portion reflects not just disagreement but also simmering jealousy and anger. The intensity of emotions in these letters reveals a response rooted in envy, as individuals grapple with the profound impact of his teachings. Jealousy, often masked by dissent, is a testament to the influence and significance of the message Pastor Jennings preaches. The instinctive reactions underscore the challenge of navigating a path that challenges established norms, making it clear that his unwavering commitment has stirred emotions ranging from resentment to outright anger in those unwilling to embrace the change he represents. These letters, steeped in hate, jealousy, and anger, serve as a stark testament to the profound impact of what Pastor Gino Jennings teaches. The venomous words within reveal a deeper struggle within those who, unable to reconcile their own beliefs, resort to expressions of animosity. Jealousy, fueled by the fear of losing influence or control, manifests as bitter resentment. The anger embedded in these letters mirrors the discomfort experienced by individuals confronted with a message that challenges their entrenched convictions. Yet, in the face of this hostility, Pastor Gino Jennings remains resolute. His steadfast commitment not only highlights the transformative power of his message but also exposes the vulnerabilities of those who resist change. The hate-laden letters become a poignant reminder that true spiritual leaders often provoke strong reactions, forcing individuals to confront their own insecurities and question deeply ingrained ideologies. In navigating this sea of negativity, Pastor Jennings stands as a beacon of unwavering conviction, undeterred by the storms of jealousy and anger that may surround him. Despite the barrage of hate-filled letters aimed at Pastor Gino Jennings, the growth of God's church remains unimpeded. These letters, driven by jealousy and anger, stand as futile attempts to thwart the unstoppable force of divine purpose. 
The resilience of Pastor Jennings and the continued expansion of the church underscore the inexorable nature of God's work. In the face of adversity, the flourishing of God's message persists, transcending the attempts of those who, motivated by negativity, seek to hinder its progress. Pastor Gino Jennings, unwavering in his commitment, becomes a testament to the resilience of true spiritual leadership. The work of God, propelled by an unyielding force, marches forward undeterred, unaffected by the divisive sentiments contained in those letters. The growth of God's church serves as a living testament to the enduring power of faith, impervious to the attempts of detractors to impede its profound impact. Pastor Gino Jennings adheres to biblical teachings. He firmly opposes divorce and remarriage, aligning his stance with what the Bible prescribes. His rejection of the Trinity and emphasis on the oneness of God reflect a theological divergence from mainstream Christian doctrines. Additionally, he teaches that God transcends racial categorization, describing God as a spirit rather than associating Him with a specific ethnicity. Despite facing opposition or criticism, Pastor Gino Jennings maintains his commitment to preaching the unadulterated Word of God. By staying focused on his divine interpretation of biblical principles, he appears to navigate these disputes by emphasizing the importance of his biblical convictions and remaining steadfast in the teachings of God regardless of external criticisms. While Pastor Gino Jennings has faced some negative reactions, particularly due to the controversial nature of his teachings, there are instances where he has positively impacted the community. Many of the followers of the truth of God credit him with fostering unity and empowerment within the congregation. Jennings often emphasized principles of discipline, morality, and community support, which have inspired positive changes in the lives of those who follow what he teaches. Additionally, his outreach programs and community initiatives contribute to addressing social issues, demonstrating a commitment to making a positive impact beyond the walls of the church. Media coverage has played a significant role in shaping the public perception of Pastor Gino Jennings. Positive coverage often highlights his charismatic preaching style, the true true message of God, community outreach efforts, and the unity he fosters among believers. On the other hand, negative coverage tends to focus on controversial aspects of what he teaches, which can lead to criticism and backlash. Pastor Gino Jennings navigate the media landscape by engaging with various platforms, including social media, where he addresses controversies, defends his beliefs, and communicates directly with his audience. By actively participating in the media discourse, he, with the help of God, control the narrative surrounding the truth of God. The attention, both positive and negative, may have affected the ministry in a positive way. Positive and negative coverage have attracted new followers and enhanced the reputation of the church. The controversies have also galvanized existing supporters, reinforcing their commitment. Pastor Jennings' ability to address hate-filled letters with calmness reflects his strong commitment to spiritual principles. Instead of reacting defensively, he sees these challenges as opportunities for personal and spiritual growth. By maintaining composure, he not only sets an example for others but also demonstrates the resilience that comes from a deep connection with God. In turning negativity into a chance for spiritual development, Pastor Gino Jennings showcases the transformative power of a steadfast and composed approach to adversity. Pastor Jennings often engages with individuals from other faiths or denominations through public debates, sermons, and online platforms. While some interactions may involve dialogue, there are instances where conflicts arise due to theological differences, particularly concerning the Oneness Doctrine and the Doctrine of the Trinity. In his sermons and debates, Pastor Jennings is known for expressing his firm belief in the Oneness of God and rejecting the traditional Christian understanding of the Trinity. This have led to tense interactions, especially when engaging with representatives of Trinitarian denominations. Despite these differences, some interactions involve attempts at dialogue, aiming to clarify doctrinal distinctions. Pastor Jennings has participated in public debates with representatives from various Christian denominations, providing a platform for discussing theological disparities openly. However, these debates often highlight the contrasting beliefs rather than fostering cooperation. Highlighting the truth of the scriptures is always the primary focus in Pastor Jennings' engagements, he uphold the uniqueness of his doctrinal stance. While some individuals may appreciate his straightforward approach, others criticize him for potentially fostering division among Christian communities. Gino Jennings maintains strength through prayer, fasting, meditation, and studying the scriptures. He navigates challenges with grace, applying the teachings of the faith. He also emphasizes forgiveness, compassion, and humility. 
he draws strength from his purpose and commitment to guiding others on their spiritual journeys. In conclusion, Pastor Gino Jennings emerges as a resilient and steadfast spiritual leader, navigating the turbulent waters of controversy and opposition with unwavering commitment to biblical teachings. The barrage of hate-filled letters, conflicts with other religious organizations, and media scrutiny serve as a backdrop against which his unyielding faith shines brightly. Despite facing animosity, Pastor Jennings remains resolute, embodying a fearlessness rooted in deep conviction and trust in God's guidance. His ability to transform negativity into opportunities for spiritual growth and his composed response to challenges exemplify a profound connection with his faith. Beyond theological debates, Pastor Jennings positively impacts his community, fostering unity, discipline, and empowerment among believers. His outreach programs address societal issues, reflecting a commitment to making a positive impact beyond the confines of the church. As Pastor Gino Jennings continues to navigate the complexities of the ministry, his enduring commitment to preaching the unadulterated Word of God remains a beacon of inspiration. The growth of God's Church in the face of opposition underscores the indomitable nature of faith and the transformative power of unwavering conviction. In the end, Pastor Gino Jennings stands as a testament to the resilience of true spiritual leadership. His journey reflects the enduring power of faith, the capacity to inspire positive change, and the ability to weather storms with a steadfast reliance on the teachings of God. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I do pray that we all continue in striving to please God. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.